haven't even finished Gears of Rebellion yet. I'm pretty behind, honestly. <laughs> I'm a little behind. I don't even remember where I was. You and story. All right. Here we are again, returning back to where we've begun. Be just skip all of them. <laughs> before they leave Asunia, a mysterious girl from another dimension appears before Arissa and the others. Claiming her world to be in grave danger, she pleads for them to accompany her to save it from destruction. Enable voice, of course. I know for most people, they've seen this literally years ago, but... <laughs> But, it's new to me! Look, it's the sister who did not become leader. Yeah, it's insane that Tetra didn't become a leader. That's nuts. They should just make her a leader! Come on! Come on! Just put her in the BP! Come on, dude! I hate that the spear is cut off, by the way. Rowan Sprite. Yeah, he's too tall, man. Looks like we're all in agreement. Good. Then before anyone gets cold feet... We make the jump now. Hope you're all prepared for a new dimension. Man, I've been playing too much Genshin. I only hear Zhongli now. <laughs> it's only Zhongli now, dude. You and Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? You know? That's all I hear now. <laughs> Ewan finds himself in an unfamiliar world. Yet the feeling of Nerva's unmistakable presence in this world is all too familiar to him. Oh, whoops. <laughs> the return of the old favorite. Old Reliable. <laughs> I just realized I can copy this for every class and never change my deck. No one remembers the wine because they're all dead. Thanks, Tonko. So this is Tetra's world, is it? Guys, no sometimes when I read uh, dramatic lines, I was going to say grave lines, but that's pretty much true. Grave lines from fiction. I kind of am like, maybe I should maybe I should try to become a voice actor. But then I'm like, I can't, I can't do that. I only have one voice. <laughs> this one, well, two voices. My regular one, and like my slightly deeper one. <laughs> That's probably not a very good voice actor, but I always, I always think that I should. I always think that I should. You have the pro mic now. I do too. I do have the pro mic. Please present. <laughs> uh, that's what I said. Uh, I was gonna make a bad joke. I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> Smoke a rigney, please. Okay. <clears throat> Was that alive? I've never seen a life form quite like it. Yeah, smoke Marlboro, so would. <laughs> them soon. Damn, why why is everybody Cyclops from X Men? <laughs> oh, I guess those people are residents of this world. They don't seem to be in distress, however. Is this place truly in danger? I will have order. Violators are currently attempting escape. Is this a Cyberpunk 2077 pet? Warning. I am permitted to use disciplinary measures in the apprehension of residential law violators. Please present your identification or designated authorization. Just a moment. I've got it right here. Scanning identification. Error detected. Damn. Identification. He's got a fake ID, bro. <laughs> but that can't be. Possession of forged documentation. Oh, ho, ho. now you get kicked out of the club. But the club is society. Man, Keith Silverstein has an amazing voice. It's amazing. He has one voice, but it's amazing. <laughs> Guess that girl's made me soft. You've known each other for like a week. But I guess that's enough to change somebody, yeah. Sure. Let's have a mouth sound stream someday. You do not want that. Do you want me to do mouth sounds right now? It sucks. Nobody likes that. <laughs> well, bandit. 
just use the gong? Bro, I can't use the gong. It's nighttime. Also, I want my ears to work when I'm 40, so... I'd rather not. I have to... I, I disabled the, the emotes because, uh, you know... I'll just say that this check mark is a curse. Usually in story mode, you just go face and you win. So I'm hoping that's still the case. Whenever, okay, I'll just say it. Whenever Vanguard, that's not his name. Whenever Vagabond Lizard dies, all I hear is there's sand in my ass, which is not what he says. But goddamn, does it sound like that's what he's saying. Am I the only one? I can't be the only one, right? It sounds like that, honestly. Igni playing Portal Craft? Not really. <laughs> this is an all neutral deck, so I can play Portal without playing Portal. Is a nice roaring flame. What you need is a nice, roaring flame. Huh? Huh? Voice actor Igni? What do you think, chat? What do you think? Not bad, right? It's not too bad. I don't think. GG. Easy clap. See you later. Belfamet, was it? That's the one Tetra warned us about. You just destroyed an enforcer. Do you know what you've done? Didn't these guys... Man. Weren't these guys supposed to run away? The laws of this world are complex, serving only to torture those they're meant to protect. There's nothing complex about our laws. They simply serve their function, to control the people through fear. It's Mono! Whoa! Damn, that was awesome. I'm Mono. Don't worry. I shan't give you over to the foul forces of the law. Nope, I'm actually Tetra's sister. She's the one who brought you to this world. Mm. Whoa, where is this mistrust coming from? I can tell you're suspicious of me without even scanning your heart rate. Ah, perhaps it's the way I talk? It is pretty sus. I had a feeling you wouldn't trust me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please ignore my sister. She is quite talkative, but she is an ally all the same. So I decided to record an explanation from Tetra. It's pretty good how no other character needs to be convinced, but Yuen is the most rational of all of them, so he needs actual proof. Yes, I'm aware. That is to say, I'm aware of their existence, but not their whereabouts. However, I do know a suitable place where you can all reconvene. Care to take me there? That's the plan. It would be rude not to properly guide our guest. Well, our savior. It's really the least I can do, oh noble one. Please, don't get started. I'm not one for flattery. Or sarcasm, it seems like, Ewan. He doesn't understand sarcasm. Mono teaches Ewan the world of Iolan, which is ruled by a tyrant named Belfamet. Based on what he had already seen, Ewan understands the world around him to be deteriorating. I saw what you did earlier. You're a brave one, aren't you? Well, brave and don't take this the wrong way. Completely reckless. You didn't know that man at all. So why risk your neck for him? Because he's the Watch protagonist. You, Not you specifically. You didn't think I was going to sit back and watch that enforcer attack those humans, did you? I was waiting for the right opportunity to hack into it. I know what you're thinking. If you've got that kind of ability, why hesitate? Well, sudden movement catches the attention of the enforcers. I imagine he's thinking, what is hacking? Not to What's a computer? Hmm? Sorry. Perhaps I acted without caution back there. Ha <laughs> Whoops. I swear this verbalization system hinders more than it helps. Let me restate myself. This time with less nuance. I'm deeply impressed with you. Oh, that's nice. I sense that you have a deep moral code, one that bows more to justice than logic. That's a beautiful quality. I bet that's why my sister recognized you as the right man for the job from the start. Yeah, he is like straight up the best one anyway, out of the eight. I'm an open database, <laughs> ready to answer whatever questions you have. He's got the most experience, he teleports, he's the most rational, he's strong. 
Destruction is what happens when a tangible form is forcibly reduced to nothing. But what imperils Ayalon isn't something that can be touched. So, you fear the destruction of an ideal? How to explain? <laughs> Everything in this world is controlled by a single man, Belfamet. Actually, control might not be the most... One thing about the Shadowverse story is that all the dialogue is expository. <laughs> It's a little tiring. People wake when they sleep, what they do and how they do it, what they see, say and hear. He is the sole decision maker. You and fell asleep while Mono is talking. Yeah, Mono is short for monologue. Welcome to the heap of scrap we use as the home base of the resistance. Ah, how they get there so fast? Lady Mono, glad to see you've returned safely. But who's that beside you? Not a very warm welcome. Is it so strange for robots to feel guarded around outsiders? He doesn't know what a robot is. You, but in truth, we can think for ourselves. That's not to say there's no Imagine not knowing what a robot is and coming here and being like, I don't I don't get it. Did you say robots? Yeah, dude! <laughs> called it! <laughs> oh, well, that's Absolutely called it. You and is just so confused. Just draw a couple of question marks above his head right now. Ewan's world is probably more primitive than Arissa's. Well, Ewan's world is ash now, isn't it? <laughs> so, can't be no robots there. Why does this one look so much like Lingering Will? You guys know about Lingering Will? That, this looks exactly like, well, not exactly, but pretty close. Pretty close. <laughs> That's what I'm so caught up on. I wasn't even paying attention to to what was being said. Sorry, we're finding her brother, I think, is what they said. It's normally my sisters or I would go out for search and rescue operations. But there are extenuating circumstances that would make that unwise right now. Circumstances like being powered down or torn apart for information. If one of you fell into the wrong hand, oh, he got the concept of robots real fast. Crucial information regarding <laughs> real fast. You do learn quickly. Oh, how do I keep calling it? I literally just keep calling the dialogue seconds after it happens. And this is a jamming device. Whoa, she gave him the power glove. Any enforcers you come across, all while having no effect on humans. That won't pose a problem. I should be more than capable of taking out other humans on my own. Thanks, Mono. I should mention, it's not the most powerful apparatus. Once you activate oh, so it has a cooldown. Thanos, you it. How many allies of yours are you missing, Ewan? I can't imagine more than a few hundred. Including me? There are eight of us. Should be at least. Not quite the numbers I was expecting. But if Tetra has chosen you she was expecting a hundreds, like a freaking end game scene. Yeah, know. but at least all eight of them are ridiculously powerful, powerful, right? Names Urias Formand. Black armor, white hair, and red eyes. Sticks out like a sore thumb. Oh, and but then she likes him. If you encounter him, keep your guard up. You don't have to worry about that. I'm a bigger coward than J2. Speaking of which, I'm sure he's eagerly awaiting someone to rescue him. Central Tower is straight down that road. Best of luck. All that power hidden within her. And she claims to be a coward. She'd make for a fearsome opponent. Good thing we're on the same side. I should prioritize finding J2. That and... Enforcer units were programmed by Lord Belfamet. Any interference with their... Okay, well, there you go. Ewan returns to the city and is bewildered to find it seemingly devoid of life, despite the presence of citizens earlier. Well, same as always. Default deck, well, not default deck, neutral deck, Andy, let's go. Where have all the people gone? The path was straightforward, so I don't think I'm off track. Goblins greater than robots? Hell yeah, you know it. Initiating deep circuit scan. A critical error was found in thought processing systems. Emotional capacity. Confirmed. Initiating termination protocol. Oh boy. Not 
you with the resistance? Huh? Emotional capacity confirmed. Uniform violation detect. We'll do introductions later. Get behind me for now. Oh. Ewan's voice is just amazing. Absolutely incredible. I love it so much. Excuse me. Dragon's Nest? What? Oh, that's right. Machina cards exist. I forgot about that. Well, face. Yup, face. Always face all the time. This is a bit scary. What are they do? What is this deck? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, I see. <laughs> I was wondering. I was wondering. Coming at you. Goblins! Look at this board, dude! All goblins all the time. Byron Pogchamp. Is Byron Pogchamp? Oh, he's pretty Pogchamp. I revealed him, so he must be good. Yup, face. That's why we play the goblin deck, boys. We're unstoppable. Well, the AI just doesn't know how to deal with aggro. Unless that changes, uh, we'll just play this forever. <laughs> Although I hear that it gets harder in, uh, in Rivale, apparently. I heard about Lady Tetra bringing a hero from another world. Is that you? Why does he sound like... Roxas? He sounds like... No, he sounds like... Yeah, like Roxas. He sounds like Jesse Mc... Uh, is Jesse McCartney? Yeah, Jesse McCartney. Is that Jesse McCartney? Maybe not. From what I but for a little bit, he sounded like Roxas from Kingdom Hearts. So I'm very special to me. An older model robot with serial number IO342. IO was taken by Belfonet. If I don't bring her home soon... IO! Is she your sister? That's a joke for, uh... For the cultured ones out there. <laughs> She's closer to what you humans think of as a mother. Please, I have to save Io. Then I'll help you. Really? Thank you, sir. Belfamed and Io should be back in the central tower. Please calm down, J2. Oh, uh, Lady Tetra. You're back. I am glad to see you unharmed. Now, J2, please return to the hideout. I have told you many times that leaving is forbidden. But, Lady Tetra, what will become of Io? Do not worry about Io. We can copy her backup data into a new frame to restore her. But that's a lie. That's a lie. I remember that. I remember that from the other story How modes. Will that take? Just go back, J2. But J2. <laughs> I like how she said his serial number like a full name. When I transported your group to this world, I sensed that only four of you had arrived. I am sorry. I believe there was some interference by an outside force. Nerva. Don't be. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to say Nerva. I thought he was going to say Nerva. I, I I thought it was like certain. I, will return I was wrong. He was bad man. I was asked a favor, so I'll finish that before I make another move. Mono has already informed me that you were asked to find J2. Not Jerva. <laughs> for his mother and I intend to help him is this a matter that takes precedent over reuniting yourself with allies Mono will take care of them besides they can handle them she's trying to hide from you and that she can't restore the data that snake central tower is dangerous seems like you're intent on stopping me from heading there why Belfomet is extremely formidable but he needs to be brought down is that not what your people want? It is, however. What's wrong? Mono has been forced to enter alpha drive mode. I must retreat. Oh, this is where she's fighting against uh, Urias, right? Well for now. Please be careful. See, I remember. It's been a while, but I remember. Guess that's it for now. I'm tired, man. <laughs> short stream. But hey, better short streams every day than long streams every month, right? <laughs> I think so anyway. Thanks for coming. Appreciate y'all. Uh, bye-bye. <laughs>